Grade 5 Math, number 33. Add decimals. When we add decimals, the most important thing to remember is to keep our decimal points lined up straight and perfect. Just as we add whole numbers, we never mix up the place values. We keep them straight. If we added 217 and 5, we wouldn't put the 5 in the tens place. That wouldn't be right. We would put it in the ones place where it belongs. Well, same thing with decimals. Wherever the decimal point is tells you where the tenths are. We wouldn't add the five tenths to the seven hundredths. That would be wrong. You want to line them up straight and perfect and pretty, so you add the five tenths to the one tenths, and we keep our place values in order. See that? We add the decimals exactly as we add whole numbers, starting on the far right place value, just as if the decimal point wasn't there. We carry over re and regroup as we needed, just like regular whole numbers. And we start adding on this side first, just as if it was a whole number. 8 plus 4 is 12. We carry the 1 and put the 2 down. 7 and 1 is 8. Plus 4 is 12. We carry the 1 and put the 2 down. We add the 4 and the 1, which is 5, and 1 more is 6. And we have 6 and 22 hundredths. And our decimal points are all straight, perfect, and pretty. See that? That way we added our ones as we were supposed to, our tenths, and our hundredths as we were supposed to. Remembering that zeros have no value and are just placeholders. We can put zeros into the numbers to hold the place values. We put them on the right side to help us. So if we were adding four and seven tenths, to 2 and 18 hundredths, we could put a 0 there to help us with our place value. We know it's correct because all our decimal points are lined up all pretty, and we're going to add 7 tenths to 1 tenth, but the 8 has nothing to add to, so we can put a 0 there to help us mentally. 0 and 8 is 8, 7 and 1 is 8, and 4 and 2 is 6. Our answer is 6 and 88 hundredths. See how the 0 helped us? We keep our numbers straight, perfect, we keep our decimal points straight and perfect. See that? You don't want to cross your place values over because you'll get a bad grade, okay? If we're adding two and four tenths to one and 215 hundredths, we can put our two zeros there. And then when we add, we have five and one and six and three, and we have three and 615 thousandths. See, it helps us keep it all straight. If the bottom one is missing zeros, we can put those in. If we were adding 4 and 512 thousandths to 3 tenths, we line up our decimal points all straight and perfect so that the tenths are being added to tenths. We put in our helpful zeros, and we have 2, 1, 8. We drop the 4, and we have 4 and 812 thousandths. We can do it this way, even if there's no decimal point. If we're adding 3 to 1 and 27 hundredths, we can put in a decimal point and the zeros to help us. 7, 2, and 3 and 1 is 4. We keep this all straight and pretty and perfect, and we have 4 and 27 hundredths. See? We can also rewrite it to solve it if it's in word form. 7 and tells me it's a decimal point and 21 hundredths added, plus mark, to 2 and 4 tenths. I can put in my invisible zero here to help me. And we have 9 and 61 hundredths. See? 11 and 5 tenths added to 3 and 112 thousandths would be 11 and 5 tenths added to 3 and, that's the decimal point is and, 112 thousandths. We make sure our decimal points are all lined up all nice and pretty. We can put in our invisible zeros if we want. We've got 2, we've got 1, We've got 6, we've got 4, and a 1, and we've got 14 and 612 thousandths. So 
Keep your decimal points lined up all nice and pretty so that your place values are in the correct place. Make sure that you don't cross them over, otherwise you'll get a wrong answer. See? Keep them straight. Keep your decimal points nice and pretty and straight. That'll help you line them up. Put in your zeros on the right-hand side of the number to help you. And remember, you can even put a decimal point in if you have to help do it, if it's missing one, if it's a whole number. Okay? That's how you add decimals. Keep them straight, regroup, just like you would a whole number. Just keep the decimal points all straight and pretty and perfect. See you next video. We're going to talk about subtracting them. Bye.